All right, guys, remember the plan. Do not get caught. It's a place nobody wants to be trapped. That's true. Wait, we teach out. The cameras? We're in. I'm surprised huh? he was trapped there for so long. He should have been, he should have been actually, or oh, out last year. Why is it so easy? Nobody actually likes this work. Huh? He said nobody actually likes EG. Yeah. Oh shit. Look at these actors, man. Paid actors. Guys. Let's see the emotions in the eyes. Perfect, he's still here. There's a cat, this is cat. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I knew it. What was that? I told you guys I'm not interested. I'd rather stay in jail. Joe, we're gonna break you out. Yo! What's up, man? Finally. <laughs> Run! Where are we running from? You guys got anything I can change it to? Yeah, this should work. Nick Joker is not a bad actor. That's it, man. Let me have a look at that, analyze that line again. Let's see the emotion. You guys got anything I can change into? Not bad acting. Not bad. You know, sometimes it's a bit cringe when they do that. But he is acting decent. Obviously, with Jorgamo getting signed, I think he's a... I think he's a solid player. He's, like, he can play the... It says right here, his Neon in the 90 days, it was one game, so it wasn't the best ACS, so it was a pretty rough game, but his, his raise was... Actually, no, that's only one game as well. How do I look into his thing? I, th I always remember thinking when we played EG back in the day, and then everyone else got bought out except Jorgamo, and we were just like, how's Jorgamo not got bought out? Like, his raise was, like, quite good and quite scary. And then I think this year he kind of proved it. You know, you see here... Big, big, big damage. A pretty stomp, actually. Let's see them against a, a decent team. Let's put them against Under Thieves. That's generally quite an alright team. And she didn't have the best day that day. Um, Neon, he can play Neon. Uh, Under Thieves have a, a decent bind, to be fair. And then Ascent, well, NA's Ascent is all over the place. Maybe his Jet's not where it's at, but then... Who could they... Let me have a look at G2's roster. Who could they put on? Leaf could play Jet. But his killjoy is actually pretty good right now. In terms of he was always quite a decent killjoy. Not at right now, but in the start of the year, he was doing a lot better. Maybe towards champs, it wasn't as good. Didn't have many games. I think the big one for G2 team is this, is Valen. Like he's, he was actually playing quite decently. I'm right, they did. Oh, fucking hell, we don't look at that. Three. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness is over for me. I'm, I don't think I could survive another year if I play like that. There's no excuses. Why are we looking at me? It's Jorgenbo's highlight. Where's he gone? We don't talk about me here. We don't talk about me. But yeah, so I think Jorgenbo, big pick up here. I think he, I think he's better than I see. I remember Icy, we watched the VODs back, obviously, and Icy just looked scared playing against us. He was, like, looking over at us during tactical and tech pauses. My general thing is you don't look at the enemy team during tacks or techs. Just focus on the monitor in front of you. Focus on what's going to get you locked in. Don't look at the enemy team, because if you're an inexperienced player, you're going to get flustered. Yeah, he didn't have the best games against us. But, yeah. I had an app, what did I miss? You're gonna have to watch it back, I'm afraid. So, Jorgamo is the first signing for the NA G2 roster. I think they will be better because of it. So I think definitely G2 uh, uh, have a good run of contention into uh, qualifying for playoffs every time. That's the main roster I've seen.